So to go from beginner to shredder, we're gonna work with arpeggios and um, how to get the hand shapes underneath it. So to play the line of just, um, to show the possibilities of what you could do with it, we'll hit that and then we'll go back and look at it note for note and break down how you can practice for it. So it would be. Something along those lines. What I'm really getting into is how that started out. This right here is going to be C. We could play this anywhere. So that's going to be on the eighth string, eighth fret of the E string, and it's a major uh, two octave arpeggio. So one major third, perfect fifth octave. You could also play it. So what I'm doing there, index finger right here on eight. I'm gonna slide my index finger up a whole step. Not gonna play it though. We do four fingers per fret. So index, up a whole step, ring finger. Index, index. Up a whole step again with our index, but we're gonna play our ring. Index again. And then we go up a whole step with our index, play our pinky. So what I'm really doing there is I'm watching my index finger the whole time. And I just know I go up, hit my ring. Index, index, go up, hit my ring. Index, go up, hit my pinky. It's weird at first. I'll go backwards in a second or descending. It's weird at first because you're like innately you want to look at what your finger is that you're playing. You're like your ring finger. You want to make sure it hits. It's going to fucking hit. It's right there. That's where we get into that four fingers per fret kind of thing. It makes it effortless, almost effortless. You just have to trust that your finger will be there. So when you come down, we're all the way up here. And again, I didn't even use the tabs. I didn't, I would have to stop and think about it. All I know is the finger pattern. Starting on C, starting on the eighth uh, fret right there, I'm going up a whole step, hitting my ring finger. Index, index, up a whole step, hitting my ring finger. Index, up a whole step, hitting my pinky. Descending, pinky, down a whole step, hitting my index, hitting my ring. Down a whole step from my uh, index, right there. Index, index, ring, and then down a whole step with my index, right back home. The reason we use it that way is now, you can go anywhere. Oops. As I screw it up. But the point is you can still go anywhere with it. Um, anywhere up and down the neck, that pattern will work. And now, when I started, since that's major, an arpeggio is just notes out of a scale, by the way, in succession. That's, that's all it is. So you could play different arpeggios. This happens to be one major third, perfect fifth, octave. And then we're just repeating it. Oops. <laughs> Every video falls apart around three minutes in. So to get away from the major and make it a minor like I did at the beginning, where it sounds darker, we're just gonna use our middle finger instead of our ring. Because a minor arpeggio means we're lowering the third. So a minor third. So one, go up, still a whole step with your index finger. Right there's the minor third because you're using your middle finger. Same thing. And then up a whole step with the index because the octave doesn't change. So hopefully that makes sense. Try moving it around. It's going to be really awkward um, because you're going to be looking at, you should be looking at your index finger just going up a whole step each time. Rewind it if you need to see the parts of it. I never know which way that goes. Like, subscribe, all that fun shit. Questions in the comments, complaints, rah, rah, rahs, all that good stuff. And um, yeah, happy shredding. See you in the next video.